Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a creative YouTuber that's trying to be a long no buy. And today it is my third part in my Colourpop week. This is the Colourpop palettes that I want to use more. And maybe my Colourpop palettes that I've gone about a little bit. And yeah, um, I just going to dig into this and today i'm using the lush life palette this was i was so influenced by angelica nyquist uh, with this palette because i saw a look that she did with this that was amazing so i bought it in i can't remember if it was last summer maybe i have done one look that i didn't like that much but today i'm going to do a new look and the thing, because I am pretty sure that I used this green one because I really wanted to use that, but I didn't want to do like a green look. And sometimes with me, I like see one of the shades in a palette that I really, 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 really want to use. And then I don't know what more to use. So it's just getting like a rambled up look that I don't like. But I actually think that I don't want to do a green look because it was a green look yesterday. And I think there is going to be maybe one more green look. I think I just want to go like to this corner, maybe in here. Um, I think it would look really cool to do like a blue look with these green shimmers. And if I'm not remember wrong, I think that was the look that Angelica did that I did really like. Uh, it was a while ago, so I'm not like completely sure, but I think I want to like concentrate in here just to Yeah, I don't know. I, I just feel for that today and I did something yesterday that makes me really really happy I did clean all my brushes. So now I only have newly cleaned brushes and I do Love that. So I'm going to start with this one guava and then I'm going in with Eden. I maybe took take like a more fun shimmer shade. I don't know, but I'm going to start with this one. And I am really trying to do makeup looks that I think is fun. And makeup looks that I want to do and not makeup looks that will look like super good on camera because I always like before wanted to do the most like crazy makeup look and even though it wasn't that crazy but you know like really colorful really out there and I always tried to do them so special that I could but now I'm like maybe I should just do something that I like because I like how it looks and not because it is so much color and everything and I know that not a lot of people go out in like super crazy colorful eyeshadow because that is not the life that most of us is living so maybe it is better <laughs> that I do a makeup look that isn't like so super crazy I don't know but I think like if I do a more toned down look, but still though a really nice look, it maybe can make you more inspired and like that you want to try the look. I don't know. And I think like it has changed a lot. Is this turning out to get red with me? <laughs> I don't know. It feels like it has changed a lot that people do fall more into the neutral makeup um, even though people maybe have done super much color and I don't know if that is just because it is more popular now or it's just because we have done the super colorful crazy eye makeup and now we want something new and I think that might be the case for me or maybe that like this is more my style and what I do really like even though I like a super colorful eye look as well but it's not always that I want to have that 
and okay. And I like have stained so many of my brushes with like white bristle br bristles on them with a blue and green so it doesn't look like they are clean but I can assure you they are. Now I'm going in with this really deep one I hope and take it and deepen down my crease and I don't know because this is a little bit warmer and this is a little bit more cold tone but if you have ever heard me talk about makeup that I am just doing whatever I feel like the only time I think you should care about the undertone is when you are choosing your foundation and that is just because if you don't it can look really 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 shitty okay, this Eden shade was so so nice it was really pigmented as well and that is a thing like I even notice now when I do like uh, more neutral shades maybe you can say is that browns can be so different they can be a little bit warmer they can have like an orange undertone they can be like a gray undertone and if you don't like brown you will not appreciate it but now when I'm starting to like brown more I'm like yeah this looks really good and so far this looks really good. I think I want to take two shimmers on my lid. I think I want to take this hideaway that is a bit deeper and I don't know. Maybe this one or this one. You know what? I'm going to swatch. So either these two. These two. Okay. Maybe I should take these two. This. Um, this one. It's this one. It's a much more green than I thought. So I think I will take this and this. Maybe that turns out to something good. I don't know. <laughs> but we will just have to wait and see. So I think I actually don't want to... Because I do think that I want to take the matte, the deeper shade in my crease out here as well. But I think I will put the shimmer first and then take the matte shade over and this is something that like you never know with Colourpop you can have the luck to having a really really good shimmer or it's something bad and this was this was good and it feels like on this palette I think it was kind of popular when it came out I guess it was one of their summer releases. But I'm not completely sure. I have never like keep up with Colourpop. Maybe. Do you remember when they had their monochromatic palettes and when they started with. I think like the Ula La was one of the first, even though it might not count as a monochromatic. It is the pinkish one I think that one I like is my it's my pleasure was some of the first and then the blue moon came and then then I was really on color pop then I was like I know what you're doing I know when you're coming out but the latest I don't know year two years there is so much color pop like do even people that are on Colourpop's PR list, do they even keep up with what they're getting, when they're getting things? It feels like it's coming out just too too much. So I have like given up a long while ago to try to keep up with Colourpop. Uh, I'm going to take this It's Paradise on the rest of my lid. And it feels like the one of the problems with Colourpop that is maybe not the for us that doesn't live in the US. Because they release some things only on Ulta, I think. So not everything is coming to their um, web shop for the whole world to shop. I think some things are just coming to Ulta. And I don't know why. Maybe because there is... Yeah, yeah. 
they have something with Ulta maybe so that is like something that you need to keep up with if you're going to keep up with Colourpop and also it feels like Colourpop now some of their releases are like concentrating on like the big releases and then they just release small things in between like you don't even know there is going to be something new released and I I think they would have it would have been better if they didn't release that much all the time that people could actually keep up is there like anybody out there that owns all the Colourpop palettes? I really hope not because then I think you would drown in palettes honestly because there is so so many. Okay I think this do look good but I think I want to go in with this Eden just a little bit on my outer corner to deepen it down so I'm going to tap this off and I'm taking this uh, smaller blending brush this is from Flair, it's a Swedish brand, and it is called Small Crease Blending Brush. Okay, I have nowhere to put my things. I like this look, I think it's, this is like something that I like to do, and like taking a deeper lip to this, I think it will look really really good. This is like my kind of neutral makeup that I do like. So yeah, nothing wrong with this palette. The shimmers worked good and the mattes worked really good. So I will take away the fallout, fix my base. Think if there is something more that I want to say about the palette, I think there might be. So I will fix everything and then I come back with maybe a little review. We will see. This is the finished look for my face. I did use the two recent and soft nude from Nabla. Lunch money from Colourpop on my waterline. I did use, I can never remember the names of these. Hot Dang from NYX. And on my lips I took Rapture from Lethal because this is like my favorite red. And okay. I do really like this look. I think it is a good look. I don't though think it's like something super special that you can only do with this palette and it feels like I'm saying that over and over again but I don't know if that is something that I have like realized now during my no buy that there is really few looks that is something you can only do with one palette. I think this palette is good if you want to have like a neutral palette with a little pop of colors because you have these four hairs that are a pop <laughs> of color but the other ones are more neutral this one i thought was really nice it's the shimmer i have in here it has a little bit of green green gold to it which i do like and like the mattes were really good i think i've tested all I, I haven't tested this blue one and not this one but like this was really good and Colourpop are really really good to do matte shadows and it doesn't feel like people talk about that that much but I think they are really like they go really good together and you can blend them really good together and it's not often that I have a super bad matte from Colourpop it's more often that I have like a bad shimmer but yeah, the other shimmers I did use today, um, this this one and this one, they were really good. I have no problems with them at all. And I could also put the matte on top of the shimmer without it looking strange. And it was easy to like blend it up a little bit in your crease. So I think maybe not like the outside <laughs> matches the color story. I think when you're looking on the outside, or at least when I do it, I think it's going to be a little bit more colorful and I also don't like I don't like backgrounds that are this because I think it takes away like you're focusing more on the background than on the actual shadows and that I don't like and I think like when you have so many neutral shades in a palette 
I think it would look better if it was maybe a white background or a light background or just not a shimmer background because I think it's a little bit disturbing. So I do like the palette but I don't think it goes good with the packaging. I think they could have done much more fun. Like keeping the packaging but changing the shades. I think they would have gained more from this or keep the colors and just change the packaging. But it's not a bad palette and I don't know why I don't use it because I do really like this look. And that is just the thing that I've noticed, like, I don't use my Colourpop palettes much and I don't know why, because some of them are really, really good. Like, the side by side, no, side by side, the Sweet Talk is maybe one of my Colourpop palettes that I use the most. They, they do really good palettes for a good price as well. So, yeah, it's fun to do this week. I have two palettes left. It is... The Zodiac palette that I have used quite a lot because I had this as a series for a whole year. And I have no idea what I want to do with this. And then I have uh, At Forest Sight from Raw Beauty Christy and Colourpop of course. And this I have no, I think I'm going to do something really deep and dark with this one. But yeah, uh, I hope that you like this video and I hope that you are liking my Colourpop week so far. If you're not subscribing to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I will see you tomorrow. Bye!